it has a little suction attached to it and it allows us to smooth out some of the torn tissue that you see so we can see exactly what's going on so right now we're working on the labrum to the left of that that's your biceps tendon and you can see all these rough edges and things kind of hanging down that's not normal these are all areas where the labrum or the biceps tendon are torn which is what we expected a little bit more to the left of that is going to be the rotator cuff tear so here's the biceps as I tug on it that's the biceps and so you can see all that tearing is actually part of the biceps and then to the left of that there's a hole here that's the rotator cuff tear and so the next step for us is to secure the biceps we'll take a spinal needle first and then we'll take a shuttle relay we'll pull it out of the pull it out of the spectrum handle there and all we're trying to do here is pass this basically right through the middle of the biceps like that goes around and through twice so uh, go ahead and hold again so that gives us a real good hold on the biceps and now we're going to go ahead and release it so that it can't continue to tear down here inside the joint that whole process causes pain so now you're good now we've released the biceps you can see it's no longer attached at the top of the space now Okay, stitch, it all means the same thing. And we're going to do one more of them. Okay, so we've put in two side to sides. It's brought that deeper layer right to the edge of the articular margin like it often does. So I'm happy with that. This little top here will just lay right down. Let me show you what it'll look like when we're done. That's going to all come down just like that. Okay, see that? And now you can see why those are called ripstop sutures because if we pass a stitch behind those, it's not going to pull through those two sutures. So they're margin convergence sutures also. But now we're going to go ahead and plan our suture anchors. We're going to place the first one posterior. So we'll take a spinal needle. And with these large tears, we often have to internally rotate to make sure we're getting even more posterior, which is to the left, on the humeral head. So when I internally rotate, you can see the ball rotates to the right. That gives me an anchor that's a bit more posterior. So why don't we why don't we do that? We'll show you some more in just a little bit. Okay, so there's the second triple loaded all suture anchor in right at the articular margin. The first one we've tied completely using those sutures as ripstop stitches. And so now we're going to tie the second three. We're going to pass them first and then we'll tie them. Crochet. So here you can see how we spread out those sutures from the anchor. That's actually a pretty good shot of how those three sutures are spread out like a claw. Right. Okay, so we've got our sutures from our two anchors passed and tied. So this is a two side to side two triple loaded repair and that's moving together as a unit there's still a little bit up here right at the rotator and we're going to reach in from the posterior cannula we're going to grab this right here pull on it and now we're going to clip off the stick knot and tie a knot. Pause. Okay, so we're all finished here. We've got our two medial sutures. We've got our two lateral pop locks. And those look very secure. And as we rotate, you can see how that graft... Let me get something here to clean up a little bit. You can see how that graft rotates nicely. And it just sits right on top of the repaired... Back to the recovery room shortly. Good luck to you now. Bye-bye.